Hey guys, welcome to another maths lesson. Uh, today we're going to learn about limits, which is an important concept that you have to have some understanding of in order to start learning calculus. So uh, I'm just going to illustrate um, to you uh, just the beginning parts of limits and uh, hopefully will slowly ease you into the concepts. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is in GeoGebra I'm going to draw a uh, quadratic equation um, simply y equals x squared and using this concept I just want to show you um, what the idea of limit means um, so uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to change the scale of the axis so choose the move tool choose, click somewhere on um, blank on your screen and then right click and choose uh, X to Y axis ratio and change to let's say 1 to uh, 100 just so we can see more clearly now you can see that as we move more towards the right the line is going upwards okay and it doesn't matter how much we zoom out so you can zoom out in GeoGebra by just um, using the scroll button on your uh, mouse it doesn't matter how much we zoom out um, as we move to the right on the x-axis as the x value gets larger and larger the y value also gets larger and larger for the equation y equals x squared so the way we express that using the concept of limits is that the limits so you write LIM the limit of the function y equals x squared so you just write x squared the limit of x squared as x approaches infinity so you write that under the limit uh, notation so limit of the function x squared as x approaches infinity is equal to so what this is saying uh, just a reminder is that as x approaches infinity what does y approach Right, so x gets larger and larger. Does y also get larger and larger uh, towards infinity? And the answer is yes, y also approaches towards infinity. So that is the, uh, the beginning concept of uh, limits. As x approaches infinity, uh, the limit of the function x squared as x approaches infinity is equal to infinity what about um, as the limit of x squared as x approaches negative infinity so if we have a look at the uh, graph as x gets smaller and smaller towards the left a y is still going up so uh, this would be uh, still infinity and no, no it's positive infinity so how is this different to um, the limit of uh, let's say 2x so as x approaches infinity for 2x if you have a look at the line for 2x so I'm just gonna delete this line and change it to y equals 2x and I'll change the uh, so click on the um, blank part of your um, grid and choose right click and choose x-axis to y-axis ratio and change it back to 1 to 1 and you can see zoom out a bit and you can see that as x approaches negative infinity y also approaches negative infinity so 
For the equation 2x, as x approaches positive infinity, y also approaches positive infinity. Um, but if x approaches neg negative infinity, y will approach negative infinity. So basically the concept of limits is that as x approaches um, a certain number what does y approach? Now let's do it on a simple equation um, using a simple value. So let's say the limit of um, let's say 2x plus 1 as x approaches just say a number, simple number, 3. So if we draw the graph 2x plus 1, let me clear this, um, y equals 2x plus 1, it's just a simple line and let me adjust the grid to zoom it back to so we can see x equals 3. Um, so when x is equal to 3, so I'm just going to create a point and show you on the grid. When we drag the point to x is equal to 3, um, y is equal to uh, 7. Alright, very simple. So, um, what was I trying to say? So the limit as x approaches 3, y is equal to 7. So that is a pretty uh, simple concept. y approaches 7. So this is saying that as x approaches 3, y approaches 7. So really, it's pretty simple. It's only a case of substituting the number 3 into the equation where x is. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So uh, you might say, well, this is pretty easy. It's just substituting the number in there, and you get the answer. As x approaches 3, y approaches 7 but it's not going to work all the time. So let's have a look at this equation. Now let's try the equation. Um, let's try to find the limit of x squared minus 25 over x minus 5. Let's try to find a limit of this function as x approaches 5. So if you substitute the number 5 into the equation straight away, you will find 5 squared minus 25 over 5 minus 5, which is uh, 25 minus 25 is 0 over 0, which is undefined. And the reason for that is because you cannot divide it by zero. Cannot divide by zero. Okay, um, so, <clears throat> so that's a bit more complicated um, when you have a denominator that is equal to zero when you substitute uh, the number in. Um, so uh, what we want to do now is just have a look so this won't work. So we just want to have a look at what the answer is. So if we plot this equation in a graphics uh, in a graph plotting tool um, unfortunately, it didn't work with 
GeoGebra when I just tried it. So I'm going to plot it in Graphmatica. So in Graphmatica, if you type in the equation y equals bracket x squared minus 25 bracket. Now the brackets are very important. If you don't have the brackets there, chances are um, it's the graph is not going to show up properly. Divide it by bracket x minus 5. You'll find that the straight line graph is going to have a hollow dot where x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 10. Now what that means is the value of when x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 10 does not exist. Right? That's why it's a hollow dot. But what does the concept of limit mean? It means that as x approaches, sorry, I should have written 5 here. As x approaches 5, what does y approach? Well, y approaches um, according to this, uh, according to Graphmatica, y approaches 10, right? Because as x goes towards 5, y, the y value of this line is approaching the hollow dot, which is 10. So the answer is 10. But how do we work this out without a graphing tool, without a graphing package? So what we can do is we can actually use a bit of algebra to try and simplify this. So um, if we try to simplify that, then this becomes um, so we have x uh, minus 5, x plus 5 at the top over x minus 5. And I know that you guys will probably not like this, but you do have to write the limit notation in front as you're working this out. Otherwise, it won't make sense. And then what you can do is you can cross out the x minus 5, which means you'll end up with an equation where you just you don't have a denominator. Alright, so then you don't have the problem of dividing by 0. So now you can simply just substitute the number 5 into where the equation is. So the limit of x the limit of x plus 5 as x approaches 5 is um, is uh, 5 plus 5 which is 10 so you probably don't need to write this 5 plus 5 which is 10 all right so that's the answer of this equation uh, how to find the limit of x squared minus 25 over x minus 5 as x approaches 5 so basically uh, the steps are uh, step 1 you have to factorize so you only do this when denominator is equal to zero when the x value is substituted into equation. So step one you have to factorize and then step two um, cancel or I should say simplify the equation and then so that means crossing them out because they cancel down to one step three is then you substitute value
into equation. All right, so it's a three-step process. Okay, um, so I hope you have some kind of understanding about limits now after you have seen this uh, tutorial. The most important thing you need to understand is as x approaches a number, what does y approach? If you can understand that, you should be okay with the concept of limits. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.